it's Will, and uh, I'm gonna show you today how to make a ramp slow mo effect in Sony Vegas uh, Pro 8.0. So you wanna have your Sony Vegas open. <coughs> um, this is 8.0. It's Pro. Um, and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is import your file clip. To do that, you wanna go to File, Import, Media, find your file. I got mine here and just drag it to the timeline if you didn't land the first try at the trick like I didn't I'm just gonna s get to the get to a part where I am like holding it or something like there and just delete this other half pretty easy um okay next thing you're gonna wanna do is um right click under the original audio track and go insert audio track and just leave that for now and this little plus sign right here you want to click it 13 times so that just makes that bigger and the first step you're going to want to do is use your right arrow key to go to the point where the board is just lifting off the ground which is probably right here for me okay so I hit S which splits it hit it hit the right arrow key another two times hit s another two times s and you want to have about six to eight split clips uh... i really recommend six it's easy if if you s say you're at five clips and it's just landing like this you want it to be better quality right there so that's how I do mine. Okay, drag the last clip over a bit, or the very last, and then this clip, the last clip, the last split clip, you want to hold control at the edge of it, and um, hold the left clicker, and drag it two notches, so one, two. Pretty easy, move it over. This one you do three notches, one, two, th three. This one you do four, This one you do six, not five, but six. Okay, I screwed up. Just go to edit, undo. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And the one after the six is four. Oops. And wait. I gotta undo that. I'm sorry. I screwed up. Okay, so this one's four. One, two, three, four. If you don't know how many you moved it, just look at this little thing up there and it shows. Okay. And then once you're done those, um just drag the first clip on top of the other one so it shows a little zero zero one. So just make sure it overlaps one knot. Notch, sorry, I mean not knot. That's something how fast you're going. And just drag them over. So in, so it should look like this. And sorry I'm going so fast. I really don't want wanna wait for Sony Vegas to render forever, so whatever. Okay, so <coughs> now take the audio track under the split clips and drag it down to the bottom audio track. So like that, so they're all dragged down and make sure they're still overlapped by one. Now double click on the bottom audio track, should be number three, and click the little explanation mark that says solo, and then drag this volume thing to 3.6 dB. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is right click under on the audio track, go to properties, and lock to stretch, and do that for all of them. What that does is just make it not echo as much. Okay, so now the last thing you're going to want to do is uncheck this the little solo explanation mark you can shrink it down back to original size and then you can watch it
pretty good. Not the best, but whatever. So, thanks for watching my tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed.